Okay, hello guys. We are in the Jewish cemetery in Marrakesh. Um, okay. Vemtza chen vesechel tov beinei Elohim veAdam. Find um, chen is like beauty. Sechel is brain, mind. Tov beinei Elohim veAdam is good in the eyes of God and man. Yekumun hakitzu veranenu shochnei afar kital orotal. Shochnei afar is the dead people. Afar is like dust. Okay. Tzadikim b'mitatan nikraim chayim. Holy people, when they die, they are called life. And more and more and more things. Nice. So the guard here, this nice guard, he's been guarding here for 38 years, and he speaks a little bit of Hebrew, which is very surprising. Uh, maybe it shouldn't be. Uh, so he said this cemetery is 500 years old. It was renewed um, a few years ago. Uh, the renovation took three years. And you have the new part over there, and then the old part over here. It's divided to children, women, and men. And we'll go through it. Okay. So here you have, this is French. Hebrew and French. Okay, here we go. So, Bet Moed Le Kol Chai, the Jewish cemetery of Marrakesh, from 1537 BC. And this is the Jewish year, 5297. And just to remind you, today is 5780. Um, okay, so the first Jewish settlement in Marrakesh begins in, began in the 14th century until the city developed into one of Morocco's major cities. Following the expulsion from Spain in 1492, many Jewish exiles fled to Morocco, hastened by the call of the Saadan Sultan to the Jews to come and settle in the city. The Jewish quarter, Mela, uh, adjacent to the cemetery, was built in 1557, uh, 500 years ago more or less, in order to protect its Jewish inhabitants. In the Melak, over 35,000 Jews resided, and there were approximately 40 synagogues. The Jewish cemetery was established in 1537 after many Jews moved from the Muslim Muazin neighborhood to the Melak. The cemetery covers an area of 52 acres, and it is the largest uh, Jewish burial site in Morocco. Wow. The arrangement of the graves is unique to the city of Marrakesh. In the cemetery, there is a children's section where over 7,000 children who died of typhus are buried. There is also a separate men's section and a women's section, while around the perimeter of the cemetery there are graves of the pious, the judges and the scholars of the city who are believed to provide protection for all those buried. Uh, in the cemetery there are buried saints and devotees who taught Torah to the community of Marrakesh as well as throughout Morocco. Among those are Rehanania HaKohen, uh, Rabbi Itzhak, Deloya, Rabbi Moshe Heliwa, Rabbi Avram Abitbul, Abutbul, uh, Rabbi Shlomo Amar, Rabbi David Chazan, Rabbi Avraham Azulai, um, Rabbi Mordechai Ben Atar, Rabbi Shlomo Tim Suit, and Rabbi Pinchas Kohen Azuk. Awake and sing for joy, ye yeah, that dwells in dust, for your dew is a dew of light. Isaiah 26:19. Okay, nice. let's see. Can we yes, yes, of course we can. And this is the prayer for uh, the cemetery. And everybody needs to say a prayer when you come. We have a prayer for the road. We have a prayer for like everybody, you know, for the house and prayer for the cemetery. Uh, being non-religious, we're going to skip that. You can read it if you know Hebrew. You can read it. If not, Google Translate. <laughs> Okay. This is the yeah. This is the children's section. Oh, okay. So here is. Beta Chaim Arakesh v'Kivrei Tzadikim Shupatz b'Siyuach Shara Chibra l'Bituach v'Marani Shimon Meron of Tzadik Mutach Shara. So these are the people who renovated it, and they're called Hachshara. They are an insurance company, uh, probably from Israel. Yeah. 
they have family here probably, so okay. they invested in the in the renovation. In the renovation. So this is the kids section. So this is the kids wow. section, and I guess you can see because the tombs are smaller. That was a very strong typhus. Uh, Seven thousand. Seven thousand children. Seven thousand children. Um, okay, this is a big, big cemetery. It's seventy yes. acres, um, and it's all white. Um, it doesn't have any, none of the tombs, if you'll notice, the tombs do not have names on them. They're all anonymous. I guess because this were kids, but it's all anonymous everywhere. You don't have names anywhere. So let's go through here and we'll see what's what. So here is babies. Chalukat Tinokot. Tinokot is babies. Yeah, but babe, those people, this is like four, four five, three hundred years ago. Mm. Yeah, this is Chalukat Tinokot Shel Bet Raban. Tinokot is babies. So here are the babies, I guess. Here are the children. On this side are the children. And you also have the beautiful wall around. Yeah. Well, it is a beautiful place to rest. So the history of the Jews in Morocco is a very, very rich and interesting um, history after the Jews' expulsion um, out of Spain in 1492. They were dispersed in many, many places and many of them came to Morocco because the Sultan was interested in them. He wanted the Jews to come. And they came here and they had a very thriving uh, community in Morocco in, in different places, not just one place. Yeah. Uh, Marrakesh was one of the main places, and Tangier, Shefchouan, Assouria, there are quite a few. Okay, and so this can, is... See, and they put the stone. Yeah. Uh, this is a holy rabbi. Uh, this is why you have... Okay, so you this is a rabbi. The yeah, and this is why you have the writings okay. uh, that signify who this was. Um, it says his name or something? Yeah, um, So this is the Rabbi Avraham Rabbi Avraham Ashkakur. Rabbi Avraham Ashkakur. Rabbi Yaakov Ashkakur. Yeah. Well, many of the holy people's graves mm -hmm. and the holy holy rabbis that are called Sadikim, okay. um, like righteous. Okay. And people come from all over the world to to like um, pray on the grave and to get blessings oh, from the dead okay. rabbi. Um, no politics, I know, and religious stuff, but personally, I think it's a bit foolish that going to a grave of a rabbi that you've never met and you never will meet because he's been dead for 500 years will bring you blessing. But to each their own. So some of, the, some of them do have writings, but most of them do not. Yeah. But some of them does. I guess this is the newest new part, uh, 5,720, so this was 60 years ago, okay. not too long ago. Okay. So I guess this is the new part. Okay. Whereas the parts where you don't have any writings are the old part. But they said that the rabbis were like uh, strategically buried, no? So like yeah. to protect the different, the no, different but, sections. Yeah, but the... you'll know which one is a rabbi because they have a special yeah they have it special so yeah this is the new one because this is 61 years ago um, in 1956 more or less which is more or less when this last graves are and uh, that's when most of the Moroccan Jews um, left Morocco for Israel and the United States and France and that happened because after the state of Israel was born many of them were seen as traitors or people that can't be trusted anymore um, and they didn't feel comfortable in Morocco anymore and they left and they went back and they went to Israel, America and France and um, but today um, the Moroccan government is working very hard to conserve these places and me being Jewish walking in Morocco for almost three weeks now <laughs> I didn't feel any anti-semitism at all not even a little bit um, even though, truth be told, throughout my travels in the world, I've never hidden who I was and I've never received anything negative about it. Um, so I'm sure there is anti-Semitism in the planet, 
but I luckily enough haven't experienced it. And I lived five years in the United States. I've traveled in Asian countries. I traveled throughout Europe. I traveled to Germany. I traveled to all the places that are known for loving Jews and everything was fine. But here in Morocco, which is a 99.3% Muslim country, I, I got like very amazing um, yeah, it was a good surprise. reactions from people. So this is a grandmother, Safta Yekara, dear grandmother. So the newest one, the newest one do have some writings. Yeah, the newest, the okay. newest, the newest graves have writings and the old ones don't. Okay. Uh, but the new part is quite small. The old part is bigger. It's bigger. But you, you can know which one is new by the writings. And yeah. that one is like like elevated from the... Well, you never... Uh, those, that's the old part. The old you know, they part. probably extended it huh. as, as, as need be. So the more you go, I guess, maybe they started from there and then they... Yeah, and they... they... Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see that over there. It says Moshe Ivgi. Moshe Ivgi, if you're listening to us... Yeah, Moshe Ivgi, this is for you. If you're listening to us, you shame us as Israeli. Yeah, this is a cemetery and you have no right to write your name on the wall. If I'm wrong and you got some permission from the custodian here, then I apologize. But if you just went and wrote your name over there, you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, guys, so we'll give you a paramatic, paraman, paro... I think... Pan pan panoramic, 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 <laughs> panoramic view <laughs> of the cemetery. Yeah, I think and that way you need to go along because no stroller. No, I think it will go. Okay. I think it will go. But we'll give you a panoramic yeah. panoramic view and then we'll say goodbye and we'll join you again in the market we'll in the Medina. We go to the synagogue. To the synagogue. Yeah. So this one here 5722. So this is 58 years ago. Okay. Yeah, more or less so the This is new all these parts. Well, new, you know, 60 years old, yeah. Well, but you won't find anything considering newer. Considering the other one, this, this cemetery has been open for oh. 500 years. Well, this is fairly new. Um, 1887 to 1962. Not too long ago, but mm -hmm. you won't find too many things that are... Like, I guess 50 years will be the newest. Yeah. Uh, we, it makes sense because that's more or less when they left Morocco. So, if there are no Jews, there are no dead Jews. Yeah. I guess it works <laughs> together. Okay, guys, so a panoramic view. Oi. And I hope. This one is fine. Well, that's well, that's the reason many of them left for France because of the language. What's that? It's What's like what? a place to, to rest? No, that is where they do the ceremony before the burial. Ah. So they put the body on the stone over there and they say all the prayers. Okay. And you have the whole family around crying and doing the burial thing. And then they take the body to the designated grave. Okay. Yeah. And you said that no, no coffins, no? No, no coffins. Okay. Um, you know, it's generally no coffins, but if you do want to have a coffin, it's not against the religion. You can have a coffin if you want, but generally it says uh, from ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Uh -huh. No coffin involved. Yeah. So you go it's straight back to earth. Directly to, to earth. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, some very nice um, tombs here. If you can say nice about tombs, I guess. It is a sad place after all, where people died. But... Suffer and dying without anything to say. Wow. <laughs> huh? Each one with their own message. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I don't plan on having a grave, I want to be burnt, but if I did have a grave, I would say, here lies a free man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so, well, 14 minutes, 14 minutes, yeah. If, if you lasted with us this long, wow, we salute you. Thank you very much for lasting with us. With us. What's blah, happening blah, blah. with me today? I don't know. With us this long. Um, if you like what you see, as always, um, comment like and subscribe, and, subscribe. And, and we'll see you with us. 
Yeah, and stay with us. We're stay going. With us. We're going to the synagogue next. To the yeah, the 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 Jew quarter, the Jewish, the the Jewish, Jewish quarter, the Mela, the Mela, Mela. Mela. The name is. And Mela. then we'll go to the synagogue, and if it's open, we'll show it to you. If not, we'll try to show you the outside at least. But I think it is open. Today huh? is Friday. Today is Friday. Maybe there's even prayer today. So. So Anyhow, we'll Anyhow, tomb or not okay. tomb. This is a nice place to rest. So <laughs> here is where we'll say goodbye. Nos vemos y nos, y nos vamos. vamos. <laughs> Adiós. Hasta la próxima.